Nintendo has never really been known for its beautiful women. I mean, sure we've had cute characters such as like Peach and Zelda for the longest time. And arguably Nintendo's hottest woman has always been Samus Aran. But after that, I mean, they just kind of did their jobs. They were never really too much to look at. I mean, they didn't distract too much from the gameplay. Perhaps that's why they weren't super attractive. It's because it would have detracted from the gameplay. But whatever the reason be, Nintendo has not really been known for its hot characters up until this point. I don't know what has changed, but for some reason in modern Nintendo, it seems like all their women are just top tier, like really good looking. I don't know why I have my own personal thoughts on this and uh, it's got a lot to do with what we are being given from the media right now, but I'll get to that in a little bit later. Like, I mean, even Peach, Peach, who has always just been like, you know, just cute, a cute character, but not like actually like super hot. She was made just incredibly, incredibly good looking in the Mario movie. That took me for a spin, you know, it took me for such a spin. I think some of our earliest examples of this would probably started with Rosalina with I mean, Rosalina, just look at her. She's just already such a super gorgeous character. And then we started getting more and more, you know? And even in relatively obscure Nintendo franchises, they actually put some really good looking characters. I mean, just look at Palatina from the Kid Icarus series. I mean, just where did that come from? I mean, shoot, just every character in the modern Smash roster, we're looking at all tens there. It just seems like out of the blue, suddenly we are given just a plethora of hot characters. Even side characters in big games are really, really hot. In fact, possibly even arguably hotter than your main characters, which is quite odd. You know, I'm all here for it. Obviously, I'm all here for it. And you need not look further than the last Nintendo to direct to see so many beautiful women being added in to all the expansion passes. I'm gonna be honest, yes, I I am 100% here for that. And I, I mean, I'm not trying to objectify women or anything, you know, but the fact that we have been starved for beautiful women in just modern entertainment, I think really is feeding into this. I'm, I don't wanna get political here, but I do believe there's been this unusual push in modern Hollywood to just kind of take away all the attractive women and just kind of make these androgynous looking people that don't have a single hint of femininity or any sort of sexuality to them. And it just kind of, it makes the characters boring to look at. I mean, and it certainly doesn't contribute to their character either, you know. But, I mean, that's a whole nother rant for a whole nother time, so I'm not going to get into it. Here's the thing. I think the reason that Nintendo suddenly is starting to pop up with all these hot female characters is because that we are not being fed hot female characters from just a general media perspective. And suddenly all these characters that we would deem cute or just, you know, kind of good looking in the past suddenly has been elevated to these higher standards because modern Western media won't give us that. They won't give us that. And a lot of this comes down to the fact that Japan just has different social standards than the West does. You know, I mean, they are obviously more, more traditional and I guess what some would call conservative in their values, but they are definitely more family oriented, you know? It's just that the general landscape around femininity in society has changed and altered. And at this point, it's almost taboo to show a woman who actually has what most would consider a beautiful form. And I think because Nintendo hasn't changed, I mean, obviously their, their art style, it's gotten only better. The fact that video games have only gotten better and the fact that they, that they can make 
more shapely and more real, more like real to life, I guess, looking women. They're still kind of cartoony, but you know, that's oh, something entirely else. It, what matters is the form is there, you know, the form is there. Nintendo's never going to stray from this. I guarantee it of, you know, I mean, Nintendo is just, it, they have a hard enough time listening to their audience. So I don't think that they're going to cave to social norms. Not, not at this point. Nintendo has always notoriously just avoided woke stuff or what one would call that kind of stuff. Whatever that means. It's a very weird term. I'm going to be honest. I am here for it. I am 100% here for it. I am down for peaches. I am 100% down for all these nice looking women coming out of Nintendo. 100%. I am all for it. I mean, I'm totally okay with Peach's design. Now, the thing about Peach's design is Illumination, I believe their animation studio is actually based out of Paris, so it's actually coming from the French, so it's not traditionally Japanese. It's almost like Peach with a, with a French twist, you know? I mean, just look at her. She's just absolutely stunning and i cannot wait to see what illumination and that art team does with rosalina whenever they introduce her into the mario movie if they introduce her into that whole thing i don't know at this point but i'm excited for the future of nintendo and the beautiful women and i look forward to more beautiful women coming from random obscure nintendo properties but what do you guys think of this whole thing are you excited for more beautiful women? Are you impartial? Do you have a woman? If you are, then lucky you, my friend. But anyway, whatever you guys think, hit me up in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.